லெக்சர் லெவன் சிக்னஸ் அண்ட் கியூர் ஆன் டைனமிக் பிளேன் பேஜ் நம்பர் நைன்டி ஃபோர் டு நைன்டி ஃபைவ் தி தேர்ட் ப்ரப்போசிஷன் இன் திஸ் பேராகிராஃப் இஸ் தட் மெடிசன்ஸ் வில் நாட் ஆக்ட் கியூரேட்டிவ்லி ஆர் இன் ஏ வே டு டர்ன் தி பாடி இன் டு ஆர்டர் அண்ட் டர்ன் ஆஃப் டிசீஸ் அன்லெஸ் பொட்டன்டைஸ் டு கரஸ்பாண்ட் டு தி டிகிரீஸ் இன் விச் தி மேன் இஸ் சிக் such as are sick in a in a middle plane or sick from that plane to the outermost such as are sick in the interior planes and uh, uh, interior planes are sick uh, throughout uh, to the outermost very outermost when the disorder is in the very depth of the physical nature then it is in the form of chronic disease that is all there is of him is sick and of such there is no tendency to recovery but a continued progress such is the order of sora syphilis and psychosis <coughs> in this way in the, in this paragraph what he explains is the medicines will not cure the given condition the, the patient unless they are in such a in, in such a way they are potentized that they are the potency is similar to the condition that means if we select a remedy for example the same remedy which he has given as example sulfur sulfur he has given lastly 55 m suppose he has selected sulfur instead of giving 6m in uh, in the first instance he if he would have given in 200 potency or 30 potency what happens no result will be there and sometimes there will be aggravation so and in a way to turn the body into order and turn off disease unless potentized to correspond to the degrees in which the man is sick so in which the man is sick that should be in the in that level the uh, potent the, the medicine should be potentized for that only he first started the case with 6m and gradually he increased the potency to 55m that means there are various stages various levels logic and understanding love will mind like that from physical plane to if a love and affection plan there are many plans so which remedy will act in in which potency in which level according to that only it should be selected for example we see we come across an aromatic patient he might be having the physical symptoms the mental symptoms are only up to the mind it is there his will and understanding love and affections they are normal they are not yet affected though he uh, aromat is indicated to him it is indicated only according to his physical symptoms vital symptoms and mental symptoms so in that case if we want to start the treatment with aromatalicum we can start with 200 or 1m but in the same aromatalicum patient another patient when another patient comes and when his disease is more strong more depth that is uh, in the plane of love and affections then if we start the treatment with 200 means nothing will be there the main basic point the main basic uh, indication of arm metallicum is the more affected we, uh, it is more affected at love and affections plane that means the first and most love is to love oneself to the, uh, to self that he should live whatever be the cause whatever may be the difficulties how one feels i should live but without any difficulty without any tension without any apparent cause without any real cause also the typical aromatalicum patient he longs to die it is better to die he feels like that that means the disease is in more depth that is in love and affections plane so we have selected aromatalicum 
But uh, we, if we give only 200 or 1 M, even after taking the medicine, he will commit suicide. What is the defect? We should give aromatalcum at least in 50 M potency minimum in that case. 50 M or CM only we have to give. Then only he will be cured from that condition. He will not commit suicide anymore. So that point here he explains. If the condition is, if the patient is more sick from the plane of the outermost, that is when the organs and the tissues are more damaged, then we should understand that the case is not completely curable. So it will, he will get improvement for the time being. When the disorder is in the very depth of his physical nature, then it, uh, then it is in the form of chronic disease that is all there is of him is sick and of such there is no tendency to recovery but a continued progress. In, the, in that manner, in that state, what happens? The tendency to recovery is lost. So the disease will go on progressing even though we are treating. Such is the order of Sora, Syphilis and Psychosis. The nutritive plane is, plane is entirely in the outermost, that is in the tissues. Assimilation goes on in the tissues. It is simply in the realm of tissues and ultimates that the crude drugs operate. They can only disturb ultimates. And the inharmonious condition is the inharmony of ultimates, the outermost plane. So, the lower potencies, the crude remedies, what they will do is, they will act in this plane only. When the remedy, when the melody is only in the outermost. For example, he is more sick in the physical and vital planes. Then what happens? Acid fast is indicated for him. So, in that case, if we give even acid for 6 daily doses, he will get improvement. Why? Because his disease is only vital in the vital plane and physical plane. When he, when he is, uh, when acid for is indicated according to his mental condition, his logic and understanding, will and uh, love and uh, affections, will and understanding planes, then acid for 6 will not work. But when the vital uh, weakness is there only in physical, according to the physical tissue changes, suppose a patient is more, is affected with more tubercular condition of the lungs or tubercular condition of the intestines. The disease is more deeper, more miasmatic. But now his uh, tendon, his weakness is due to Loss of his vital fluids and vital weakness is more. According to that, physical weakness is also more. Then, then also the acid for 6 will work. Though the disease is in very deeper conditions, acid for 6 if we give daily 3 or 4 doses or once in 3 hours, then he, his weakness will improve. Like that, lecithin 3x or Cali for 6x. In the same way, so in some cases, we come across, though we are treating in a homeopathic, with homeopathic remedies, sometimes the patient feels more weakness, then he goes to other doctor and they will prescribe vitamins or iron tablets, then he gets very good improvement. Why? Why he did not get improvement with our medicines? Why he got the improvement with those medicines? Because we have failed to understand the case that the weakness is more in the physical plane and tissue level and vital plane. But all the way we are treating only with, uh, only with 200 or 1 m or 10 m potency. Or he is, he is more anemic. 
he is not at all improving with medicines though we give many medicines his anemic condition is not getting improved due to high anemia there are many sufferings for him so when iron is supplemented to him automatically many complaints are cured but supplementing iron is only though it may be temporary sometimes it is needed when the patient is suffering with malnutrition he is not able to absorb the iron in the food or he is in a poor condition that he is unable to take the nutritious food then this supplementation is needed so that supplementation how will it, it will work on the physical plane and tissues plane and vital plane then he gets improvement like that with medicines also with lower potencies sometimes in biochemical remedies or in six potencies or in mother tinctures we will get good improvement or sometimes the chronic remedies also in lower potencies there will be improvement for example in cirrhosis of liver much ascites is formed his abdomen is much bloated lycopodium is indicated for him according to the present situation according to his mental condition from the beginning also and also his constitutional state is lycopodium mental state is lycopodium so his um, drug is lycopodium but now he is suffering more with in, on the physical plane in this case if we treat him with lycopodium 200 or 1m nothing no change will be there so what we have to do in, in that case we should uh, give lycopodium 6 daily doses lycopodium is the indicated remedy not only for the um, uh, Uh, not only for the acute condition on the physical plane he is lucky enough that he is uh, very much indicated uh, in, in his constitution also with lycopodium in that case it will give much more results in even though in six potency if it is not his constitutional remedy only when it is indicated according to the present situation present acute condition then also no doubt it will improve the condition and uh, it will uh, give the correct indication to another remedy his constitutional remedy but if lycopodium is itself a constitutional remedy to him the improvement he gets will be more than the first patient so lycopodium if we gives in six potency daily doses he will improve for example china is indicated for him in this in that state chronic liver disorder he is suffering from much weakness more anemic condition mal absorption in that also for him if we give china 30 he will get good improvement or if we give some remedy like lycopodium in or pulsatilla in 30 potency and daily doses china 6 we give if we do china 6 then he gets good improvement simultaneously his vital condition will improve his physical condition further worsening will be stopped and slowly slowly his vital um, um, constitutional state also gets improved slowly we can go to higher potency what uh, with in experience in the beginning what we think is if we give in lower potency the treatment will be prolonged for the patient how long we will give but it is not the case when the patient's condition is similar to lower potency we have to give lower potency only similarity is not only in the uh, uh, selection of the remedy selection of potency also should be similar but when the patient uh, indicates only six potency then we have to give six potency only no other potency will give him relief once uh, we uh, we saw a case of old lady of esophageal cancer she was much weak she could not take even liquids previously also we have discussed the case 
she was unable to take even liquids her son brought her brought her in on, on his arms on his hands she could not walk she could not move she could not sit no remedy is exactly indicated for her in that situation but master saw the case only for her in some aspects calotropis zygantia indian drug was indicated for her the master started the case with calotropis 6 6c potency 6 centesimal daily four doses after one week she was able to take liquids previously it was not also not possible she could not swallow liquids it was very difficult for her only intravenous fluids were given now and then till that time so after administering a calotropis 6 daily four doses after one week there was improvement and she was able to take some liquids purely in liquid form again after one week he continued the same medicine again after one week there was little more improvement not pure liquid but paridges also she can she could take after one month a little she was she was able to walk previously it was not possible since few months already she was declared she was she would die in two or three weeks then only her son brought her of course her son was uh, um, um, uh, her son new master for many years previously but only he brought her his mother when the doctors declared that she will she would die then the master said i will try <laughs> i cannot say sure anything so after one month she could walk a little and she could take little small quantities of solids she could take after one month the same medicine same dosage master continued he did not either give 30 potency of calotropis he was not in a hurry <laughs> because well luckily that remedy was suited and it could uh, hold the patient otherwise she would uh, she, she would have dead declared that she will die she would die in uh, two or three weeks that might have happened but after administering calotropis 6 uh, by the hands of master ek she could survive for four weeks and also he continued after one month she could take more uh, solids daily two times she could take her food solid food liquids of course she could take normally milk she was taking porridges buttermilk everything she was taking after 3 months for the 3 months he continued the dosage in the same way daily four doses of six no other medicine no vitamins no iron only calotropis six <laughs> after 3 months she was much improved and uh, to the dispensary she came by walk from from the gate without any support then she said master now i am able to take solids after one month then master decreased the dosage from four doses to three doses six only three doses after one month she came to master the son was uh, confident that she is uh, improving then he left uh, he left her and he went to his job in another place not in visakhapatnam so after four months she asked master master can i take some non vegetarian food <laughs> master said if you can swallow you can no problem she could take non vegetarian food also till that time she was taking only fruits leafy vegetables and vegetables 
So she could swallow, she could take non vegetarian. After two months, he diminished the dose to two doses per day from three. Calotrop is six, daily two doses. After six months completed, she was able to move, she could attend all her normal activities in the house. She, she was able to go to the market and purchase vegetables and all the things to the house. After eight months, she was complete. Her physique was also as how she was, she could pick up. Before the uh, attack of this disease, how her physical condition was, she could pick up to that level. Much improved physically. So, after uh, 10 months, again, the sun came. By that time, she was on, only at on one dose of calotropic 6 from two doses uh, to one dose and then uh, he came her son came he praised the master uh, you gave bar, uh, you gave life to my mother everything he said <laughs> then master smiled <laughs> and he said let her live for some more time here <laughs> he came for the permission from master to take with him uh, his mother he said, I am uh, unable to do the household duties because I am uh, yet uh, unmarried. So, I want to take my mother. Then master smiled and said, let her live for some more time. <laughs> <laughs> so, after one and a half year, master, uh, after uh, repeated uh, asking from the son and also uh, the patient, then master accepted, yeah, so you can take her with you. But be careful, you should continue the treatment. She can take all the foods, but the treatment should not be stopped. You should not neglect, neglect about the treatment. If she gets the same condition once again, she will not survive. This is first time, you, all of you are lucky that she, she survived at this age. She was about 70 or 72 by that time. But what master has said was exactly true. When he took his mother, master gave her medicine for one month. Then uh, master advised, after one month you continue, uh, contact me, I will tell how to uh, continue the treatment. But the son has neglected. After eight months, he brought her in the same condition on his arms, on his hands, with the same weak condition. Then. Prayed master, once again you give life to my mother. Said master, first time also I did not give any life to your mother. It is God's grace. But uh, I, I have instructed you what to do, but you have neglected the duties towards your mother. So we cannot do anything. In 15 uh, days she died. So in that case, it is very serious case. Advanced cancer case. So normally with ignorance what we expect in the beginning with inexperience, what, what we expect that master will give in a higher potency, higher do, um, repeated doses like that we have expected. But master did not give, only 6 potency he gave, did not increase the potency because she was getting very good improvement and, and in that case almost he used uh, calotropy 6 like a steroid. <laughs> Because first he started four doses per day, later three doses, like that he tapered. Steroid will be, uh, in allopathy, steroid will be tapered like that. So he tapered from four doses to three doses, then for two doses, then one dose, like that. So the potency which the patient needs, which is similar to the patient, that only will work and that only will give relief. But the son did not allow. Ah, the treatment might have continued for two or three years. Then master might have given uh, some uh, after uh, uh, some um, uh, constitutional remedy, antimiasmatic remedy. He might have given. But the son did not give the opportunity. <laughs> Of course, if the outermost of the physical, physical is disturbed, 
the whole economy suffers and the body ceases to furnish a good a good instrument to be operated upon by the powers within but a true disease with periods of prodrome progress and decline are continuous cannot be implanted upon the economy except uh, it be a dynamic cause so when the physical tissues and physical plane is damaged by the disease even though the innermost force wants to operate and repair sometimes it is not possible it will not allow because of the uh, advanced condition and hence necessarily man cannot be cured except by drugs attenuated until they have become smaller to the nature or quality of uh, or quality of disease cause so in the in that condition even though the remedies are given in longer larger doses nothing will be there no no action will be there no result will be there but the remedies should be potentized they they, uh, they should be more qualitative than quantitative then only there will be improvement that means more potentized not in crude form for example natramur is is indicated if we give natramur in crude form that is what is the crude form of natramur common salt so if, I, if we ask the patient to eat common salt in, in large doses what happens bad effects will be there so in potentized form we have given natramur 6x so there will be a little effect but not much natramur 30 natramur 12x natramur 30 like that we have to think disease cause and the disease curing drug must be similar in nature unlike causes unlike causes would not produce like effects <laughs> we can arrive at similar causes by studying the effects that are similar we can arrive at similar causes by studying the effects that are similar then only we can understand the causes similar causes are in higher potencies sometimes there will be similar in, uh, in the same way master has given treated one uh, complicated psoriasis case once upon a time master ek that patient was also chronic psoriasis all over the body it was very much thick and he was suffering in a horrible manner already he was treated by many homeo doctors many allopathic doctors ayurvedic doctors yunani doctors for more than 5 years he was being treated by all these systems there was no improvement gradually it was increasing that patient came to master we had recorded the case and were anxiously observing what master will give this is a very horrible case he is suffering very much his skin is horrible we are unable to see him in that state so what was what will be the remedy master is going to give in which potency because in whatever may be the potency he gave, we give there might be any aggravation which he will not be able to tolerate already it in it is in highest peak level so all the thing has uh, everything was studied by master the remedies probable in homeopathy were completely used uh, luckily he got the list of the medicines which were given by the previous homeopathic doctors from 30 to cm potency many remedies are being used petroleum graphite is <laughs> silesia everything sornam then master st- started the case with only silesia 3x his constitution was silesia silesia constitution luckily so he started the case with silesia 3x daily three doses in the in the beginning we were much disappointed <laughs> because we were expecting that master will give a big dose a constitutional remedy in a big dose like that but according to our surprise he started getting improvement with the 3x only 
Silesia 3x only. After one month, there was good, a, a little improvement. He was able to bear the suffering. Previously, he was unable to bear. Even by applying external ointments, he could not bear. So, there was, at least he could bear the suffering. After one month, taking one month Silesia 3x daily 3 doses. Then, he, master continued. After one month, the thickness of the psoriasis a little better. Again, he continued for one month. Like that, for six months, he was only on Silesia 3x daily 3 doses. No, no other medicine, nothing was there. There was very good improvement. All the <laughs> layers were dropped off. The skin, for the first time, you know, everybody used, uh, could see the, his skin, normal skin, after long time, long years. So, after six months, he increased the potency from 3x to 6x. Silesia 6x. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Silesia, on Silesia 6x daily 3 doses, he, uh, again he was maintained for 3 to 4 months. After that, the uh, master gave Silesia 12x. <laughs> After uh, 12 months of the treatment, he was completely cured. Only with Silesia, that also 3x, 6x and 12x, so no other remedy was given because Every remedy which was given previously in potencies, every time he was much aggravated, every time he was much aggravated, much worse. Hmm. So, how, how we have to, in, after uh, seeing that case, we were very much surprised. So, with only Silesia, 3x, 6x and 12x, he was completely cured. After one year, there was no reappearance of the symptoms. Then master advised, you can stop the treatment and if there is, there is any reappearance of symptoms, immediately you come to me. Don't try any other medicines. And uh, uh, after worsening on uh, coming over here means that is very bad. So, luckily you are completely free from the disease. So, if there is any relapse, again directly you come to us. You don't use any, any other medicine in any system. We can arrive at similar causes by studying the effects that are similar. When we examine into a case and find a certain group of symptoms and in the effects produced by a certain uh, drug, we see like, sim like symptoms, we have a right to presume that the quality or nature in, uh, in both is similar. In the case of disease and the, in the given drug. The causes must be similar if the effects are similar in nature and quality. <laughs> Not only the effects and the final symptoms that should be similar, the cause also should be similar. When the physician goes uh, to, to the bedside, uh, um, bedside, he asks himself, Do I know a remedy that has produced upon a healthy man symptoms like these? Then only he can select the similar remedy. He must pass judgment upon these symptoms. He must be an artist in application and capable of discerning the finer shades of difference and similitude. <laughs> Thank you.